<laughs> How long have y'all been friends? Um, maybe like a year. We've been friends for a year. It's been about, about a year. year. Then how would you describe your friendship? We laugh a lot, we drink a lot, we talk about cats a lot. I think we have a lot of fun and a lot of laughs. <laughs> She's super friendly. I'm more shy than she is. Tell us a quick awkward story about the two of you. We went to the bathroom together and you were wearing a one piece and you took off your swimsuit. And I was like, oh my god, I love your nipple piercings. I want to get a pair. When I'm like sober, I'm super reserved. I'm always not yeah. sober, so yeah. I'm never <laughs> reserved. <laughs> and then I get like a little tipsy or something and all of a sudden I'm like twerking all over the place. What is appropriate female touch and we show it to us? Hugging. <laughs> Every once in a while, I love a good hug. I love your hair. How do you feel about your own breasts? I do wish my breasts were smaller. I think if like I was a cup size smaller, I'd be very, very happy with the shape and size. I mean, at first I didn't like, I always wanted like a boob job, but I've come to accept it. I like my boobs. Do you think your breast size affects how people interact with you? Elevators are an issue. Like when everyone's moving around, like you're just like, Oh, oh, right, well. or like a crowded train. Yeah. I think my breast size affects how people interact with me depending on how I'm showing them. Since I'm a tomboy, I tend to look more boyish in my clothes because I don't have big boobs. Sometimes kids ask me like, are you a boy or, or are you a girl? <laughs> Do you find breasts attractive? I find breasts extremely attractive. I find breasts attractive. They're all different, they're so interesting and like since I have my own, I like to compare them to others. Breasts sexually, yes, attractive. I'm more nervous like filming the video than actually touching her boob. Nervous? Me too. I'm going to leave this moment to you. All right, all right, go for it. What do you think? Is that exo is that what you expected? <laughs> they feel like mine. Ours like are pretty like they're like they're movable. Jello. Yeah, they feel pretty much the same. Wow. What size are you? Oh, like a C, a full C. And those are yours? Yes. Well, that's <laughs> what size are you? Thirty-two A. Yeah. Good, 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 yeah. Good. There's not much there, but like. Oh, hey. This hey, is more than I thought. <laughs> that, I didn't mean that. <laughs> You've already got the spots like laid out for me with the X's. So. I do, don't I? Heart gave me this shirt. Oh. They did not bad, right? I feel like the floodgates have opened. We're gonna get drunk later tonight. We'll probably touch each other's boobs again. It actually wasn't awkward at all. The process of getting to the point was probably more nerve-wracking than the actual process. Do you think this is gonna change your friendship? I don't think that it's gonna affect our friendship in a negative way, but if anything, it'll affect our friendship in a like, oh, we're closer because you know all my other friends haven't touched my boobs. No, like not in a bad way. What would you like to tell all the boobs? World. Everyone's different. No one's gonna be the same. Like, don't compare yourself to people you see on the magazines because, like, they're not even real. So you should just love you. Society, unfortunately, has made us think that there's only one type of beautiful woman. There is no one type of beautiful woman. Every woman, every person has their own insecurities. Women should love themselves. Yes. Because if you don't, how can anybody else? As to, like Sophia said, like, they are your own. And if you want to do something to change them, like, augment them or pierce them to make them more your own, that's perfectly good. Ah! Yeah.